Happy Friday to you. These are the Friday Funnies. Well, we have come to the end of another week that began with a national holiday. Martin Luther King Day was on Monday, so if you didn't work on Monday, today probably feels like mm, Thursday. But in fact, it's Friday. Friday, January 20th. And if you're like me, you're wondering, gosh, I wonder what else happened on this day in history. Well, on January 20th, 1930, the Lone Ranger was broadcast for the very first time on radio. On January 20th, 1964, the album Meet the Beatles was released in the United States for the first time. And on January 20th, 2012, the crown of the world's most delusional idiot was passed from Charlie Sheen to Captain Francesco Chettino. As you know by now, Captain Chettino, that name by the way is Italian for Little Shet. Anyhow, he, this is the guy who wrecked the cruise ship Costa Concordia. Then he abandoned the ship. Then he said that, oh no, I, I didn't abandon, I, I tripped and fell into the lifeboat and I, I couldn't get out. So when this guy goes to prison, his fellow prisoners will probably use that same excuse on him. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I fell. Yeah, that's the deal. Anyhow, I've just scratched the surface of this week's news, so let's continue scratching. A weird thing took place in Los Angeles, California this week, and gee, what are the odds of that happening, huh? At a McDonald's restaurant, a woman by the name of Hajab Basir went through the parking lot from car door to car door offering to exchange sexual favors for chicken McNuggets. In other words, this was what you call, I guess, a, a tit-for-tat, nugget-for-nugget transaction. What I'd like to know is two things. Number one, did she have any takers? And number two, at the conclusion of the favor, did anybody say, you want fries with that? George de Grazio of Fort Collins, Colorado was missing for five days, but he was finally located in the men's room at the Fort Collins Theater. Unfortunately, he was dead at the time. Apparently, Mr. de Grazio went into the theater restroom and had a heart attack while sitting on the hopper. He was finally discovered five days later when an employee walked into the men's room and said, <laughs> What died in here? Citizens of Virginia are worried about refugee rats invading their state. Now, they don't currently have a rat problem in Virginia, but they do in neighboring Washington, D.C. And in Washington, D.C., they also have a law that prohibits the killing of rats. Apparently, this is an attempt to protect lawyers and lobbyists and members of Congress. According to the law, the rats have to be captured live and relocated. And since Virginia is conveniently located right across the Potomac River, they look like the likely dumping ground. So Virginia citizens have returned to their Minuteman roots and are readying the militia to guard the border. Sentries have been posted and they will yell, the vermin are coming, the vermin are coming, at the first sight of rats. Of course, this may cause some confusion during the upcoming election. This story may make you squiggle just a little bit. In Onslow County, North Carolina, Michael Leon Ward was arrested after a traffic violation when police found drugs in his car. After a thorough search, he was taken to jail, but what police didn't know is that Ward had a 38 caliber revolver concealed in his butt. Actually, they said in, in his rectum. Okay, now the gun, this gun has a four inch barrel and it's about 10 inches long overall. Here's a graphic to illustrate. This is a rectum. This is a 38 revolver. Now, while those dimensions sink in, I'll let you squirm about in your chair a little bit. When asked why he did such a thing, Ward told them, well, I have a concealed carry permit, but I ain't got no holster.
Here's a final story for you, ripped right from the headlines, and here is the headline. At the Cairo, Egypt International Airport, officials confiscated 420 pounds of frozen cow brains smuggled in from Sudan. I don't have a punchline for this story, but I'd like to hear yours. So if you've got a punchline, please send it to me. Prizes for the winners. That's all I have for you this week. Thanks for joining me on the Friday Funnies. Please send these to all of your friends, because, you know, we're in the middle of a presidential primary, and goodness knows we all need a good laugh. I'll see you next week.